today we'll tell you all about how our friends at PayPal are helping our furry friends at the Arizona Humane Society, as well as show you an adorable duckling rescue that you won't want to miss. That and so much more right here on Pets on Parade. Good afternoon, this is Pets on Parade, brought to you by 3TV. My name is Kelsey Dickerson with the Arizona Humane Society. Happy almost Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. Pet moms count too. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. We have an adorable lineup of incredible pets with some incredible stories to tell. All who are looking for their forever homes, including Brandy, a sweetheart who we'll meet in just a few minutes. We have some very exciting news. We have a way that you can win this beautiful, brand new vehicle while also helping homeless pets in the valley with the Arizona Humane Society's first ever car raffle. We'll have all the details later on in the show, so definitely make sure to stay tuned. One cutie who is especially excited about your chance to win a car is little Clara, an adorable rabbit who cannot wait to find her forever home. But before we introduce you to those adoptable pets, I want to introduce you to my possum co-host, Azuki, who can to meet you. This nine week year old nine week old girl was brought to the Arizona Humane Society by a good Samaritan when she was just days old after spending some time in her bottled baby ICU. The sweetie went to foster hero Stella's house until she was old enough to be spayed. Named after the Azuki bean, this little girl reminds me more of a jumping bean, as you saw earlier, always wanting to play and hopping around in cute kitten fashion. She also has a very cuddly side, which she's expressing now, and will meow when you stop petting her for too long. Make sure to visit this adorable kitten today. Now, our first official guest pairs well with desserts and, well, just about anything. Brandy is the sweetest little kitten pair. Yeah, she is Kelsey, and she was uh, owner surrender at nine weeks of age. So, the good part about that is the nine weeks. So, at least she was past that point where she can come into the shelter and go to the adoption floor fairly quickly. And uh, these little kittens like this, they're kind of similar to puppies in that they have these activities that, you know, make them scratch and things like that. So, one of the things that this brandy really, really loves is kitty condos. And kitty condos have all the things that are great for kittens like that. Like, they have some of them have uh, sort of scratching pads built into them. But cats love to climb. They love to go into little tiny cubby holes. They're den animals just like doggies are too. So, they love that sort of activity where they can jump, sit on shelves, hide themselves when they need to be. It's a very stimulating activity for them. It gives them safety too. And look how pretty this little black kitty is. Here we're just talking about black cats. Some people actually really prefer them because they are so gorgeous. She's very, very outgoing, but you can see right now she's very, very much at home in the little crock of my arm right here. But look how cute she is. And she's going to be uh, just a sweet, sweet kitty for somebody. Mm -hmm. Again, just make sure you have plenty of toys and those kitty condos because Brandy's going to expect one. She reminds me of kind of like a little monkey or a lemur with the way that even her tail is wrapped around your <laughs> arm. That is so cute. And next we have beautiful Clara. I just love her marking ski. She is just so pretty, and she's got a little bit of brown hair behind her neck, but mostly she looks really, this really pretty gray with these little blonde flecks in her. She's six months old, and she actually came from one of our outreach programs. She actually came from California from an organization that was just had too many rabbits, and we were able to help her, so she came over. Now, bunnies are super friendly, lovely pets to have. They do need routine grooming. They need to be brushed. They need to have proper things to chew on so that they can chew their, uh, wear their teeth down. They need to to make sure they have proper housing, make sure that their hutch doesn't have a wire bottom. It has to have a flat bottom so that their little feet don't get caught or pushed through the bottom of the wire. But they mostly they're very social. They need a lot of time out of their hutch with you because they either want to be in your lap with you being held or just exploring the house. However, if you leave them to explore on their own, you know, they will check out your floorboards and check out your drywall and check out your doors. <laughs> so you want to direct them to the right things to play with and the right things to choose. I've had a rabbit that would actually throw around a cat toy and chase it down the hallway. So you can get them to play with the right things. And they are litter box trainable as well. So if you are looking for that quiet little animal that to share your life with that's easier to maintain than a dog and just as lovable, then maybe Claire is just the right one for you. 
Awesome. Thank you, Ski. And she is just so lovable. That's right. Now, it may almost be Mother's Day, but we have some kitties who unfortunately don't have a mother and need your help. Last year, our bottle baby ICU saw over 1,400 orphan kittens come through our doors. These little ones require 24-hour care by both our volunteers and employees. AHS is in need of bottle baby foster heroes to give these fragile kittens the care they need until they're old enough to be adoptable. Just last week, we even had Cardinals Defense of Lyman, Robert Kamdichi, in to feed these tiny felines. We have online orientation videos that are easy to follow along with and help take you through the process, as well as an optional workshop. Our next bottle baby training sessions are at our Sunny Slope campus on Saturday, May 19th. The first session is from 10.30 a.m. to noon, and the second is from 2.30 to 4 p.m. You can even take home a kitten to foster that day if you have all of your training completed. Make sure to visit azhumane.org foster to sign up and become a life-saving foster hero. And as you have seen already with a few kittens on today's show, this is truly life-saving work that results in beautiful cats being given a second chance at life each and every day. Now speaking of these adorable kittens, another little bean that is just so cute here is Garbanzo. This Lisa, <laughs> tell us about this little chickpea. This little chickpea, he is adorable. He's tried to crawl all over the place and is being a jumping bean that you allured to earlier. He is all over the place, but Garbanzo is a little buff tabby, a little nine week old male. He is very, very playful. He's got this cute, curious side to him where he'll come right up to your face and sniff your face while you can hear him purring. Loves to have chin scratches. He's darling. But these guys were quite at risk when they were first found. Um, they were found. They did apparently have a mother, obviously, but she didn't return for them. The person checked on them throughout the day, and after eight hours, it's safe to assume that the mother is not going to return. Apparently, the mom cat, cat got scared away and was attacked by a couple dogs in the yard, and so she did not return for her kittens. So after eight hours, our pet paramedics rushed out to the scene to bring these, this little litter back to our nursery to get some immediate care and be checked out by our medical staff and as you can see one of our foster heroes took them home at, and for two to four weeks bottle fed these little darlings you can see what a great job she did look how social they are he is just purring sitting up here in my hands but um, we like for you to check don't we say don't kidnap and that means just make sure that the kittens stay with uh, you know watch make sure that they're safe and stay where they're at and if their mother doesn't return after about eight hours it is safe to call into us to say that you've got a litter or bring the litter of kittens to us but little garbanzo here is happy <laughs> healthy he's already neutered and he's going to make a wonderful pet very well socialized his foster hero did a wonderful wonderful job with him and so if you are thinking of adding a kitten, be sure that your house is kitten-proof. We can give you some tips on that. Um, but if you go to azhumane.org, there's information on there on uh, behavior. You can also call in to us. Oh, he wants chin scratches. I have to, I have to oblige. And um, we can give you tips. Or if you, we have a pet resource center. If you have a kitten that's driving you crazy, maybe you can contact us and we can give you some more help and tips on how to keep these little ones entertained until they become well-behaved, well-trained kitties and adjusted to your routine. I think he's adjusted to that throne that you've made him. <laughs> he looks right at home. Now, of course, we're not forgetting our beautiful pups. Here is a gorgeous and sweet three-year-old border collie named after an ancient Egyptian god, Anubis, who was rescued by one of our field investigators who convinced her previous owner to surrender her to us since she was very emaciated and had health issues that were left untreated. This loving girl can be a bit shy, but is super sweet and friendly when she gets to know you. She loves toys, is very intelligent, and knows sit and stay, but could benefit from some training to help her gain some confidence. Meet this beautiful little girl at our Sunny Slope campus today. And next, we have our awesome friends at PayPal joining us to talk all about how their employees' dedication has sa helped save lives with this little pup in our puppy Parvo ICU. You'll hear all about it when we come back.